Hi my friend, I'm Jimmy. Hope you have an amazing day. Welcome to my channel, Jimmy Does A. In previous videos, we have known different camps, the arrangement of needles on machine, how camps show different type of needles to let long needle and knitting needle to knit. So I highly recommend you to watch my previous videos about mechanism for knitting. Because from this video, I'm going to summarize the actions inside the cam box about the tuck. Like we talked about in knitting action, I'm going to start from the root, the slight needle area, to let you know how needles work from the bottom to the top. If you think my previous videos are helpful, please uh, subscribe to my channel Jimmy Dozzy and give me thumbs up, all right? Okay, let's start. Did you still remember that position H is responsible for tuck? Which means the order can only be given once the tuck can be able to carry it out, but we still have to sacrifice the first row and most of the second row. There is just one needle we demonstrate here, but the fabric is made of maybe 100 needles. The trail for knit and tuck are mostly overlapped, which means in one direction, each needle can either carry out knit or tuck forced by one system at the same time. For one row, each needle is responsible for one action. In the following video, I'm going to show you how they work with each other on the same row. Okay, let's just start from the first row. From the left side to the right side, the number four slashing device doesn't meet the needle. Then the needle is raised by number two raising cam before meeting the number three slashing device. The slashing device pushes it down. Then the needle is raised by the number one raising cam right before the number one slashing device. The needle is pushed down by the number one First row is over. In the second row from right side to the left, the number one missed the needle because it is so low. Then the needle is raised by the number one raising cam before the number two slashing device. The needle is pushed down by the number two slashing device. Number three misses the needle and number two raising cam pushes the needle up before number four slashing device. But this time the number four slashed to dodge instead of pushing down. And the slashing needle is pushed from B to H. In the third row from left side to the right, the needle is pushed down from H to B by the mid guard hurdle before number four slashing device reselecting it. We're going to need tuck, so position H is fine. You may wonder, the tuck is belong to the position H, but slash needle is on B right now. The needle system is not going to work. That's why right, slash needle is pushed down from H to B before the system needing tuck. But the spring needle at the position H to trigger the needing system to need tuck. Keep it running, the slash needle is raised by the number two raising can. And number three slashing device slides it. The device slides it so the number two position at its staking point pushes the needle from B to H. The needle is pushed from H to B by the mid guard hurdle, but still at the high altitude. And number two slashing device pushes it down instead of reselecting it. Keep on, the needle is raised by the number one raising can. The slashing device slides it. So when the needle meets the number one position at its staking point, it is pushed from B to H. Now come to the fourth row. The cam box runs from right side to the left side. The slashing device pushes the needle down before meeting the number one raising can, refusing reselecting action to let the spring needle at the position H. For the action of tuck be carried out by the left knitting system. The action of raising slashing needle is carried out by the number one raising can. Number two slashing device selects it. The needle is pushed from B to H by the number two position H staking point. The number three slashing device denies to reselect the needle, pushing the needle down. The needle is so low that I cannot touch the number 3 position H push cam. The spring needle now is at the position H to trigger the right needling system to knit tuck. The number 4 slashing device meets the needle at the end to slide the needle. The number 3 position H sticking point pushes the needle from B to H for the preparation of tuck on the fifth row. The action then just repeats in the following rows. And this is how the slashing needle is pushed in the action of tuck. That's for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. In the next episode, we're going to talk about the spring needle. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, Jimmy Dozzy, and you can also find me on TikTok, Jimmy Dozzy as well. And thanks for watching. See you next time.